Move blog for now. I can't believe Blarg died. Yep. Him. I mean, him and his yeah. uh, cannon. Yep. Now there's only one person that can hold a gun. Yeah, me. No. I can only be one. Holds up gun. Holds up kind of gun. Mostly gun. Counts as gun. I vomit. You vomit? <laughs> yeah, I vomit. Ugh, <laughs> gross. Oh, what the fuck even is that? <laughs> the Tonfa, apparently. You don't even know the half of it. One day I'll have two revolvers and just start shooting people in the fucking dumb piece. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be glorious. You don't understand. See, I just I want to see someone shoot a bullet and have like a magically enchanted to have like an entangler net in it, so it explodes into like a, a net or a bunch of vines because that's cool to me. One day I can do that. One day I'll be able to curve the bullet. Oh, you're gonna be wanted. Yeah, I'm just gonna like, uh, shoot while spinning it sideways. Uh, in a certain direction, and it's just gonna fucking make the bullet for some reason, uh, curve. yeah, curve and like kill everyone in a circle. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But not myself because I'm too short. Mm. So your odd job. Yeah, basically, I I'm odd job <laughs> uh, in in Goldeneye. Everyone wants to pick me because uh, if you do, you basically win. Yeah. <laughs> that's because you couldn't aim down in the original fucking gold knight. <laughs> that's why, that's why I specified gold knight because aiming the, uh, in that game was like cancer. The, uh, it was the re remake to gold knife. Fix that. I can't believe it. Why would they do that? Not to not make Odd Job a fucking tear on the screen. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm picking him for a reason. God damn it. <laughs> I want to beat you unfairly. Exactly. Now you're understanding it. Can't believe it's raining in Wizard Land. I mean, it. If a small Asian man with a, like, sharp-tipped hat was coming at me, I'd be terrified, too. Yeah, that the next job. character, odd job. <laughs> this one has to die. Yeah. It's, it's fine. He'll go monster point and then end his character. Wait. What if this character is already odd job? I mean, he kind of is. He's small as fuck. You just have to enchant your hat to be uh, serrated. Yeah, I just have to kung lao my hat. <laughs> Wait on Tree to get back. I can't believe it. I'm here. Are you? You're not supposed to be silent in the woods. I'm not here. All right. He can't help himself. He doesn't have a bing to bong with. I'm a bong and... All right. Bing currently in space. So. You guys... After your long rest, the new day has started, and you can hear the crowd of people meandering their way outside. The weather, none the nicer. And you learn just how bad the area is after your last night's encounter with the two guards. that bad 
trying to eat you guys, but not me so much. This place is a shithole. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, yeah. There's no... There's no shops. There's nothing available. I can't even go... I hate it here. <laughs> What was our goal? We were supposed to look for something, wasn't that right, Otagon? Something, something, your mom got him. We were supposed to free the village. Isn't this a city, though? Whatever it is classified as. Hmm. That sounds like a pain, though. It is, in fact, God. Right, that is it. our job. I guess. Alright, Bong, are you ready to go shoot more things that look like people but are actually monsters? I mean... I think we've got a lot of that ahead of us. I want my guns. Guns. I miss them dearly. <laughs> well, how did you even get here anyway? Found it. <laughs> did you also touch a book? No. Okay. That's how. He's, he's, he's been here for 37 years. For 29 years. Uh, that sounds like a bad time. Drugs. I've been smoking for over 40 years. I could tell. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to lie. God damn it. <laughs> matter if you smoke you're just a robot that is true so you just like shoot it out your exhaust yes we do wicked <laughs> you guys ready to go okay. possibly fight some monsters? Does the percentile roll to see if god smites me no the percentile <laughs> Roll was to see if you you would get r robot cancer. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want robot cancer? <laughs> How does that work? I don't know magic. It just happens. Just like real cancer. We have no idea how it works. Everything is the cause. That's real deep. Look, well, I mean, he's got some... some wisdom in that program, because... I don't really know what else. I got, like, a plus one on the wisdom. What? what I've that got, mean? like, a zero. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, but you're just all ones and zeros, aren't you, Otaga? Yes. If you said a two, then I'd be more surprised. I have two ones. You have no twos? One, one, zero, one, one, one. Where's the two? Can't you count to two? <laughs> no. Damn. Zeros and ones get us to any number. I mean, I guess if you add it up enough. Alright, well, I'm gonna go see what it looks like outside. Oh yeah, let's go kill some gross things. I, well, I mean, what else are we gonna okay. do? I don't know, we could sit around and talk some more. That's fine. I will lead the way. I feel like I'm gonna run out of food if we do that. Just grow more food. Hmm. God is going to exit. Alright. 
God is going to exit. <laughs> <laughs> God, I actually can't a long it. time ago. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking to God all day long. God has departed. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of clerics talk to God. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm a monstrosity, so it doesn't work that way. What? Aren't you an elf or something? <laughs> Alright. You guys ex exit the house. And you see as the cloud still takes on a more evening look. The rain coming down around you slightly as it covers the cobblestone and washes away into the river below. I shoot the cloud. <laughs> it shoots back. Damn, that's crazy. How'd I do that? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's raining. The raindrop just hit you right in the forehead. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count. That's not a gun. <laughs> you shot directly above you, the bolt came right back down to your forehead. You never heard of a water gun? No. I've never heard of anything. Technically, he did Whoa. say he wanted a gun, but not what kind. You uh, gun? Two revolvers, please. <laughs> Holds out hands, grabby. <laughs> but, yeah. Yib. You guys come out to the streets. There, are, People have made their way out. They, You can see some of them have started small fires around the area to warm up. Others have started scrounging around the area or around you and in several parts of the settlement. The majority of the area is very much run down. The houses are very shanty towned. They're they give enough cover to be warm, but not enough cover to stay warm. Let's go raid some shit. They should really fix up these rooms. The agenda. Well, no, not these people. I mean, like, the bad guys. You know, like... The, that is acceptable. The mind majiggers. And the... Mind players. Mind players. Yeah. yeah. Let's kill them with the gun. In a far off... In a far off distant, distant land, you hear, uh... Hear, Elthids aren't real! Yes, they are. It's almost like I can still hear them. <laughs> ha ha ha. Oh yeah, I should be here. <laughs> <laughs> As you all manage your way to the settlement, you can very much see that a majority of the people here are they're not malnourished. They are acceptable levels of food to be alive. Nourished. What, what does that even mean? I so can still like be malnourished. Half fed. That sounds like they ain't got enough pasta. And we should give and them pasta. They need more. Yeah, with meatballs. Made of mind flare. Yeah. Our mind flare is good. We I do don't not know. eat. Don't they have like tentacles? Do you think they taste like octopus? Maybe. What does octopus taste like? Uh, it doesn't really taste. It's more of a mouthfeel. That I mean, sounds okay. odd. Do you have teeth? No. I do not have a mouth. Grow a mouth. You do not have a mouth. I mean, aren't you it's a voice that? box now. Oh, that's fair. That makes sense. God does not require a mouth. <clears throat> voice box malfunction. Alright. As you can continue up through the settlement, several people have are doing their doing their best to entertain themselves. You see children running around. 
going after like cans or very smaller objects as a form of uh, play. You see several older adults, older people are kind of lounging about as they go on about their day. Wow, they're so bored they're playing with dirt. You think they know hot cross buns? Probably. Hey. You think they know tic-tac-toe? No. That's, That's tragic. Tic-tac-toes, huh? That's like checkers. If you don't know how to play checkers, I just I feel sorry for you. How would they play tic-tac-toe if they don't have anything to play with it? Well, they just put chalk on the ground. And that is true. Off. With what chalk? I mean, you can just the one right here right holds up <laughs> chalk. <laughs> their blood because they're filthy orphans. Oh, hey. That's rude. They could be washed orphans. You don't know. Well, I mean, look around. I think everything around here is filthy by definition. <laughs> Gestures at self. I'm not filthy. I am in pristine condition. Yeah, look at that. He's shiny. I'm in pristine condition. I'm still good, okay? Okay. <laughs> For now. <laughs> how, uh, how rusty is Otagen poison? I am in pristine condition. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, oh, that makes sense. Is. Points. Yo, he's on to something here. Oh. He's in pristine condition. <laughs> you, oh, well, which way do you want to go, Mr. Robot? This way. Okay. Gonna step on this. He's he is tall. He's not wide. That oh, is I'm true. The, the I like him big. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like him chunky. <laughs> it makes it even worse because he has the voice mod on it. <laughs> that's not a voice mod, that's just me talking. <laughs> Did someone mention a voice mod to me recently? I gotta check that out. Imagine having a voice module. Well, I'm sorry, I can't. That is a lot head. of work. You know what else is a lot of work? Relationships. That is true. Is Why it, bother? Has Billy Billy <laughs> Cutter been in a relationship? Well, maybe. No one knows. You're right. You don't. We met you yesterday. True. You know he has a captain that gave him his hat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You guys come up near the part of the aqueduct. You can see you, you can see where the water is washing in from everywhere around it. The rain washing down into it to make it not so great water. As you can uh, see it's murky. It Needs very much cleaned, and there's hints of green in it. Don't go in the mm. water. It's full of poo. in mouth. Why not? I said don't put it in your mouth. It's full of poo. What if it's not poo? What if it's just green stuff? Like algae. Extra protein. Well, what? <laughs> Extra protein? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think you were listening too long to um, Blarg. I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little bit of extra protein in there. Shake it up. Jim, oh, wow. God. Does God break the bridge because he weighs like 700 pounds? Yeah. Okay, good. Is it's it grown as I walk across it? There, there is the occasion like it kind of hinges down a little bit. But you can tell for the most part that while the place is kind of shanty town, it's not terrible shanty town. It, it's at least 
half well built. Well, it okay. says more structural integrity. Yeah, it's not it. super shitty shanty town. It's yeah. only half shitty shanty town. Yeah. We're not you have to understand this. Is what I'm hearing. Of course. Not a hovel. There you go. I'll hovel you. We're in public. No. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> you guys, as you guys make your way across the bridge, you, you, you can see where they've, they've built to accommodate the growing population in the settlement. So you can see where the it's more of like a a wharf houses are built atop it you can see where they've managed to build above the water enough to where even if it does rise it is not an issue so it's a shitty venice Something i'm like glad that. i'm glad we're meeting my favorite star trek character wharf <laughs> he really changed over the years yeah it's not the same it's it's, okay. al it's almost like he switched franchises and is now in Star Wars. Can't believe it. You can, however, hear as you get closer the sound of people gathering about. You can hear murmuring and talking as you can see people kind of waiting in line. Oh, let's go check out what they're doing. Yo, it's the bread line. Does Billy Billy Cutter like bread? Doesn't everybody? I mean, I do not eat. Dry. Well, that, he only, he only likes that doesn't oil. count. You're a robot. Yeah. Oh. Otagon only likes to oil himself up. That yeah. is true. He has to be pristine. Up and ready to go. Condition. You guys get to about there. As you see, over in this kind of general direction here, there are various small, like, food shops that are set up. It, it's There's a couple people making food, so you can see a, a kobold. He's about 3'5". You can see he is uh, wearing kind of shit shoddy clothes but he's eating up a pot that looks like just a giant vat of soup it yo even better soup line it doesn't it, it does not look good it looks like they've thrown in whatever they can to add some type of substance to it that's not just like a broth so you can see like Pieces of apples are kind of in there. Pieces of bread that have soaked up. There's meat that looks questionable. So he's made borscht? I love questionable meat. You can see small stalls are here that they're... That looks like they're bartering clothes and other things. Are there they, any dragonborn around, or is it just a kobold? It's just a kobold and, like, a gnome. I shoot the gnome because he's a fucking gnome. <laughs> that is the... Wow. That is the appropriate response, but no. Remember, God, a gnome got us into this, so it's okay. No, I don't actually. It is not. You can see various of the people of Sediment that are... Kind of in similar dress. Their, their clothes are not in the best condition. It's not holy, but they are dirty. You can see various of the citizens are taking small bowls of the soup and like pieces of bread. You can see them uh, I, here, here and there occasionally. You'll see a couple of them take one or two uh, bowls for their family or just kind of like to share amongst... Uh, the group of people that may be in their house. Hmm. I see that they have kobolds here, too. I can't believe Ember's here. I mean, what? Yeah, it sucks to be her, huh? <laughs> it's 
tragic, honestly. It's just a fate when you get stuck, sent to the illicit world. You can see the uh, table's kind of like... I don't I'm know. warm my hands up in the fire. You can see that the table and stuff is kind of like set up across like here and here where like it's more close to the fire where they can keep the stew warmed up. You can see the kobold is uh, standing up on what is basically a makeshift stool. He is wearing... He is wearing very ratty clothes, but he, he looks buff as shit. Well, I mean, obviously, he's got to be strong to be able to dig through all the shit here. The gnome next to him you can see is probably about j just as tall as him. The hair is all, like, grossed out. You can see it's standing on end. It's white. You can see some dust is... Some dust and dirt has made it in. You can see his face is covered in what you assume is mud, or at least you hope is mud. Where it looks like he's been wearing goggles or some type of eye protection, because you can see the outline of, of them. <laughs> as, as they begin to pass out food, you, you can hear the various people... Saying thank you. You can see the various people uh, asking for maybe another bowl for their child. You know, things like that. What do you do? You have... Made your way to what is basically their market. Yeah. I wait to see what everyone else does while I warm up my hands. Hello. I am the Grand Otagon Defender, but you all may call me God. As I thought. Are you talking to the people or the people that are serving the soup? I'm just talking to everyone. You see several other people kind of give you a look like, what is this thing? And then you see the two that are, that are serving the soup. You see the kobold, the kobold perk up as he has to like lean back with his head looking up and he goes, Crikey, you're one of them big metal men, aren't you? Yes, I am. He'll, How are you, small man? He'll, he'll, he'll turn it up and go, Victor, Victor, look! It's one of the metal men. The normal turn and go, Kegs, you can't just call them that. They're not metal men. They're people. But he's metal. And a man. That is true. It is an accurate description. You'll see Kegs look up and go, I. Well, I don't know what you eat, Mr. Man, up there, but uh, we probably don't have it, and I don't think we had enough to feed you if we did. I do not eat unless you have oil. I mean, you would eat from here? <laughs> you see Kegs look and go, Well, uh... It's kind of disgusting, don't you think? We have oil, but I don't think you're going to like how you get it. What do you mean? So, you can see, uh... So the table's here. Like, the table's, like, here... They 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 have like uh like several like makeshift baskets and pots where they have put like 
whatever kind of like food they could salvage you can also see behind them kind of like off the edge here they have like a a boat of sorts or or, or like a makeshift uh raft that's just kind of on the ground as you see them like lower a bucket into the water and pull it up and they go well you got a bit of uh Oops. oil on this but uh I don't think you want it. It is flammable, though. <clears throat> don't mind me, I'm just playing this. I will be fine. I have plenty of supply. Why is there oil in the water? Uh, apparently... Uh, Extra a... protein. <laughs> what? No oil ain't protein. It's oil. Teaching him terrible things. No, that's not how it works. It's called pollution, <laughs> you idiot robot. Protein. You'll see the gnome. You'll see the gnome Victor pop up and go. Uh, apparently, it runs. Uh, this part of the sewer runs close to the castle, and whatever they throw out seems to be some type of oil. We're not sure what it is. Though the last person that tried to eat it did, uh... Bloat. Bloat? Like a balloon? Kinda, yeah. He, uh... He kind of exploded. Gross. Oh, yeah, so, um... You happen to know the way where we could find, uh... Some of those squid people we could kill. Or like their baby minions. I don't know. We, we saw some weird guards that were monsters but had armor that looked like skin. Oh, have you seen my guns? <laughs> they look like this. His fucking <laughs> hand crossbow. It's like this, but metal. <laughs> Shoots little round balls. Yeah, sure, balls. Let me grab a table here for it. Uh, Cylinders, whatever you want to call them, Billy. Rugs. I call them gun juice. Call oh, them gun juice. But it's not a liquid. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it fills up my guns like a liquid. Well, it's mean, fine. That doesn't make any sense at all. You'll Don't see, worry about it. You'll see, uh... Higgs look down at Victor. You'll see Victor look up and go... He'll say in a quiet, like a quiet hushed tone, you go, Are you out of your mind? Don't talk about those things in public. Why not? Any type of instrument or weapon's been taken by the gods, and those who have found it have been taken with them. Oh, that's just not true. They bring out both of their weapons into their hands immediately. Yeah, I killed <sighs> the Otagan Defender and Billy Billy Cutter and Mr. Ball and Skelter. Oh, so the guards have my guns, those bastards. You know, they're probably in the castle. I hate them. Yes, uh, apparently there's some type of uh, <clears throat> depot as one of the guards called it that They've been storing everything in. We need that depot. Do you think they have cigarettes there? I don't know. Maybe. They store things there. Wait, you think Illithid smoke? Wait, how do they do that? I don't know, but I could really use a tobacco right now. A singular tobacco? Yep. You will see. Uh, one of the kind of more shadier looking some of people like perk up. You see him kind of like hop out of the foliage and, and it's a, uh, it's a trent, like a treant person. They're about like five feet, like five foot five. You see him pop out of some type of foliage of garbage and go, y'all want some tobacco? No. Yeah, not really. That gives you cancer. It gives him robot cancer. 
We'll gesture to the robot. <laughs> I have 93 gold and I haven't used any of it. Oh okay. god. Yeah. I'll... You'll see... You'll see him, like, take off a piece of, like, the bark on his skin. You'll see him roll it up and go, If you give us some food, we'll give you a little bit. I have paper. Yeah, I... Papers like food. If you think about it real <laughs> hard. Paper. What the fuck is that? What? Is it actual tobacco? It's... It's got about the similar effect. No, thank you. <clears throat> I, I'm not about to smoke some weird tree person. I just want some tobacco plant. What, the tree person too good for you? <laughs> yes. Oh, Alright. Look at me, I'm an elf. Yes, and? I'm a deer. <laughs> it's only the best for me. You see him, you just see him kind of like fade back into the garbage as, as, you, as you see like the, this, this like four foot three human fucking dive in after him. Disgusting. Why do they want to live in there? I don't know, but they seem to be enjoying swimming in the filth. <laughs> you, 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 you can see... You think uh, there's a filth god? <laughs> no, I think if Pogo is the closest we're gonna get. What? I don't know. I just want to be, you know, nice to the locals. Praise the filth, whatever. I don't know. Why would you worship filth? I don't know. Why not? Well, I don't know. Worship is pointless. Well, I mean, you seem to get a lot of effort out of it, don't you? Don't lots of people praise you? What do you mean? <laughs> well, haven't you been by one of those big church buildings on a Sunday? No. What the fuck is a Sunday? I do not believe in God. You know the seventh day of the week? Whatever we fucking call it here, I don't know. Oh, There's I a... call that I don't give a fuck time. What's seven days of the week? There's nine days a week here. I fucking hate you. What? <laughs> I hate you. How can you tell there's no sun looks up at the cloud? <laughs> you know what? That's a good point. I don't actually know. Also, <clears throat> out of character, it's weird that I'm playing a sun elf in a world where there's no fucking sun. Yep. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. That's it's not my problem. It, 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 it even says under the dark sun. Black hole sun. Won't you come? I have not heard of a sound garden song in so fucking long. What do you. As you can see, the kobold and the uh, gnome begin to feed more of the people as they come by. What do you do from here? We get directions towards where the castle would be, so we can go check out that. Or at least the depot. Yeah, the depot. The deparino. Yeah, the depot. We need that depot. The despot. Yeah. So we can become the despot leaders of this small town. The despotic leader of the depot. And rise up. And kill those filthy tentacle faced freaks. Also, is it pronounced depot or Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, like Home Depot, where yeah. you can get your lumber and your nails. Yeah. I do not have nails. That is something lesser creatures have. No, you got them rivets. Were you welded together then? No. He points to your fingernails. I do not have those. No, no, I said welded. Well 
No. <laughs> I wonder if you could use lightning arc to weld. <laughs> Probably not. Yo, that bone guy is all the way over there. I assume he's with us, he's just AFK. He's... I he tug on his okay. imaginary Come on. leash. Come on, bone, we got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> the gnome will tell you as you w w walk away, he says there is a depot w where they keep stuff about a day and a half away on foot. We should go to the depot. Indeed. Yeah, they have my guns. Hey, let's go get them. Also, maybe some food so these people stop eating trash. Oh yeah, them not eating trash is good. Yeah. I would hope so. Don't trust that gnome. <laughs> you leave Victor alone. No, it's not Victor. I refuse to acknowledge not? Victor in this fucking game too. <laughs> <laughs> Take there will not be another gum corner. What? <laughs> it was a gum closet. Hold up. First of Back all. up. Wait a minute. He no, will not make another gum elemental. It was a corner. What? What the fuck are you talking Wait, about? I've explained it too many times. It's your turn this time. I don't know what else there is to explain. There's a gnome that we had. His name is Victor. He had a gum corner. And uh, we had to burn it to get rid of the cum elemental. Uh. Oh, we didn't have to, but I chose to burn it. Uh, I teamed and uh, killed the Mind Flayer Emperor. Uh, so this <laughs> game ends. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. That was a different universe. Was it? I don't know. If it was this universe, it's years into the future. I don't want to be a part of this universe anymore. Explodes head. Just like a giraffe. They are drones. So that makes sense. Yeah, they just choose not to vibe with the universe anymore, and they explode their head. You learn that the depot is, in fact, about a day and a, a day and a half away from here, but that also means you have to traverse through lands, through through part through parts of the city that you have no idea what's in them. That is not a problem for me. I will rip and tear. It. But that also means you now have information that you can take back to uh, the underground. Underground railroad? That is true, but if we get to the storehouse first, that means we get what's there. Yeah. <laughs> we could do both. And yeah, we could tell them after we raid it. <laughs> That's fair. So what kind of lizard people do you think they have replacing people here? Is it like Yuan Ti? Is it like normal lizard people? What do you guys think? I do not know. Hmm. Out of character, do you know if there's a lizard that shoots blood out of its eyeballs? No. Why not? I know you're being sarcastic, Kate. I just remember that off the top of my head. There, there is no, no, no lizard in this game that shoots blood out of the right balls. No, no, I, that that's a lizard in real life. I was just. I know. That out. I assume we're heading to the depot, though. I just don't know if we want to keep going down. Mm. 
<clears throat> it would have to exist first. Oh, yes. We are returning for now. Indeed. Because yeah. God says so. <laughs> Jesus and I am God. <laughs> you sure are, buddy. You sure are. Hey, is this a ladder we can use? Yes, that is in fact a ladder that you can use. How tall up is that? About 12 feet. Can I just climb the ledge? I mean, you've got the length, yeah. Alright, I'm just climb the ledge. Uh, hold on. Not gonna lie, your dice started rolling and I immediately thought it was an enemy. <laughs> I was like, oh, the mind flares! <laughs> no, I just wanted to see how bad I was going up the ladder. Pretty bad. So, Tree, do you, you have to keep three points of contact. So, Tree, you just uh, saw what is essentially a soup kitchen to feed all of the people in this settlement. And they told you that any people who are caught and their gear confiscated is taken further into the city. Okay. So we're going to go back and tell the nice folk of the underground who Duke was hitting on about that. Yep. Hold on. We're going to raid a depot. That sounds fun. All right. Returning, we go. The entrance way was like way south, right? All the way over here. The well, yeah. All right, well, I'm just gonna keep walking. Let me know when I need to stop. <laughs> well, it's up to you because. Uh oh. Uh oh. You can also investigate the houses to see what their living situation is. Yeah. Okay. This house right here. I walk in it. What's up? Oh God. I guess piece. we are going into the house. I, I am mean, down. I'm not going to I'll you. keep watch out here. You no, I have to go me. with you. I must take care of the little ones. I'm going to be standing outside. What? In case these two cause any real fucking trouble. Why would do. I cause trouble? I got my gun <laughs> off my shoulder. I got my whip on my hip. What's I'm up? not worried about you, God. I'm worried about Hannah. <laughs> murder some people and then bomb. Yeah, I'm not worried about God killing people. Hannah's literally like, I'm walking in, I got a gun on my shoulder, just breaking into someone's house midday. I mean, it's overcast and cloudy. There's no sun. <clears throat> it's definitely still midday. There's no day. There's no day. <laughs> There's still midday. There's still How day. How do you know? So you literally just... slept through the night. That implies there's a day. No, we just <laughs> slept. That doesn't mean it was night. Inside, you find various yeah. beds. You find various beds. You find several families and other various people have... Essentially, this is all one big home for them. Yeah. I Yo, I love the barracks. It's my favorite place to be. Cries. <laughs> Can't believe they Hello. shot everyone in the community center. Is there anyone in here? There's several people in here. You see kids. You see older uh, age people. You see smaller fa families are kind of like hobbled around their their section of the place where you can see them kind of eating. You can see them kind of like just trying to survive. You can see some are warming themselves by the fires. Hmm. How, uh, how shitty is the conditions in here? It's not... Well, so you'll see like the occasional drip from the roof as water comes down. You'll see... Uh, there are like holes they've been patching on the side of the uh, of the floor and, and the sides of, uh, of the place. A lot of the beds look like they uh, could use a lot of work, but they're still sleepable. Hmm. 
any of the like benches and stuff that are there are makeshift like it's like pieces of wood they've taken that's been floated in the water and like stone or brick that they've just kind of grabbed to make a makeshift stool or seat. Hmm. So I'm gonna find one of the older people and ask them why they're living up here when there's mine players. I thought everyone lived underground where it was safer. If you're part of the res resistance, yeah. Oh, so they're just shit out of luck because they don't want to do shit. These people aren't free. They These are servants of the Mind Flayers. These people are- No, hurt. they're human cattle. <laughs> there you go. They are... These people have been born and raised here. Wow, sucks to be them. Can they tell us anything about Mind Flayers? Are you talking to, like, just the older generation or, like, the... Just kind of in general? I'm just talking in general to random people. See what they say. I'm just kind of tired and I don't want to roleplay Hannah being a dumb bimbo. A, ma a majority of what they tell you comes down to a lot, a lot of the people that are still, like, young adults or teenagers or children are occasionally you will see the mind flares come in probably maybe every couple months or will sometime come in a couple times a month you'll see them they, they explain how they round up certain individuals or take certain people and use them as for their since it's essentially next meal and, and it's not just here there are several other places amongst the city that are in kind of the same look and feel They also tell you that they do get su like supply of food and such every now and then, enough to sp split amongst the entire area and basically rationed out to keep them alive, but not strong enough to fight. That's like what vampires would do. Yeah. yeah. Except, you know, they're draining their head, which means they can get more out of them than a vampire can. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm out of things to ask. I, I don't really have much to talk to. But all the children and such are amazed as the seven foot, the nine foot metal man walks in. You see some are kind of scared. Some like walk up to the Otagon defender and uh, kind of like point at his joints and poke at him. You hear the occasional, wow, and mister, mister, what are you? I guess they don't have more forged here, huh? We are a rare race. <laughs> well, yeah, not many people make you. It is difficult to craft a soul to a machine. One would hope so. I am, I am death destroyer of worlds. <laughs> I am death destroyer of worlds. Am 
Blowbot, yes. Oh yeah, do any of them have any information on what kind of things the mind players have with them? As in like technology or as in like um what they usually have around them? Uh both. Like do they have like dog do they have like the brain dog pets, the uh they have uh a majority of them usually come in packs so like there's uh one of the elders will tell you uh in their time of being here they uh usually they'll come in like one or three illithids will generally be in a group they'll have guards that they have Either uh, essentially mind broken to become servants, so like guards that are humanoid that they have taken control of. Other other things include probably various beasts that they have subjugated over the time. So they'll like come in like a group and have like maybe three or four guards with them or. Uh, beasts that they have taken over to have as protection and they'll like you or, or they'll have like a cart pulled by a beast that they load up the people they're taking with them do they do like similar routes are they predictable in their patterns uh it's most of the time they uh They will come, they will take the, they'll take the people in question, and they'll essentially teleport the cart back. Do they teleport here, or do they come via the roads? Uh, they teleport in a relative proximity of the area, walk, take take the people, they'll teleport the, the cart or cage that the, per the people are in back to their giant castle and do the people here know where like they generally would teleport to if like, as an example we wanted to eventually set up an ambush they do not they they know they they like go outside the gates close them make sure they're like you, you know fully locked down and then they just kind of brain teleport the captives to the castle and then they follow suit Okay. So, the, so they like instead of like w one big like, hey, we're gonna go to like each settlement and put a bunch of people in, in these cages. Yeah. Yeah. Teleport nearby, grab yeah. Teleport out. Just, I was curious if they knew where they generally would show up. No, every time they show up, they generally just kind of pop in and pop out. Hmm. But it's it's not like they they show up in the middle of the settlements, they kind of like show up outside, check the guards, go in. Uh, the guards will, as the like older people tell you, the guards will tell them, Hey, uh, this is the increase in population as the guards are like, their job is to monitor what's happening. So, you know, if a new kid comes in, they report that if someone gets older, they report that. Yeah, it should be about everything Lil is interested in knowing. Uh, if anyone else has any questions, uh, she'll wait to hear the answers and then start heading back to the uh, thing we drew. No, I'm good. Because I don't know what else we can learn. We are not sure. I believe it is time to head back to the camp. Oh, Toggin. Yes. As you go to leave, you will see several of the kids and some of the older-ish kids, probably around 10 or 12, they'll, like, 
run up to you and be like, Mister, are you going to help us? That is the plan, yes. My goal is to free you. You will hear... You, you, you will see him, them get all starry-eyed and... You, you can hear the excitement in their voices. You hear the... We're gonna be free! Free from this evil place! Potentially, we have to see how it works out first. He's just gonna step over the child. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <clears throat> just like real life. <laughs> yes. Please, get out from under my feet. <laughs> As you leave, Hannah's just going to be like, shouldn't keep promises you might not be able to keep. I told them my intentions. What is wrong with that? Well, I mean, if they hope and we fail, then they're going to be fucking sad, don't you think? We do not understand. I, oh, uh, right, you don't know what emotions are, never mind. We just <laughs> won't die and we'll kill everything. <laughs> Except the people. Sometimes I forget I'm talking to a cold, unfeeling emotionist. I'm not setting MPs up to up to die. I'm setting up that they're Here. villain. I do not have scales. No, but you do have metal defenses. That is true. <laughs> Crocodiles have feelings. You just don't know about it because you don't talk to them. No, I'm pretty sure they're cold, unfeeling monsters too. <laughs> no, that's not true. You have to get down and understand they're Adula Ablagata. Yeah, what he said. Who said? I don't know. Are we being haunted? Maybe. Jesus. Do you know the moon's haunted? I thought. I thought. Fox gun. Moon I moon's moon. haunted. Did they blow up the moon too? No. You think they would have just eaten it out? No, because that would cause ramifications on, on the planet. That sounds very dangerous. Yeah, blocking up the sun doesn't cause ramifications. No. That is true. Well, yeah, actually it does. I can't believe it. We're not going to go. All I'm saying is, the moon's haunted. By what? We can't know. <laughs> Everything is haunted. We've lost the conspiracy haunted. theorists, we're not, we're not getting another one. Why not? <laughs> the moon's <laughs> haunted. Theories are interesting. Yeah, my ghosts. So, Bong, are you from the moon? Of the fallen moon, No, people. I'm not from the moon. Aren't you a moon elf? Does it, does it mean I'm from the moon? Yeah, they're not moon people. They're just people of the moon. It's different. See, Philly gets it. Thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, because the moon people are all dead. You don't uh, look dead. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> that is true. Well, I mean, he might not specifically be a moon person, but that doesn't mean his ancestors weren't. That is Rubbed also kid. true. <laughs> what if they're not dead? What if they just came here as moon elves? What if the mind flayers are moon people? No, the mind flayers are not moon people. Are you related to Wait, the what if the moon is haunted and made of cheese? <laughs> Does that mean that rat people are on the moon? No. Well, maybe. Maybe rat and rabbits. I've heard that rabbits live on the moon, too. I will See, kill you. <laughs> I already had to deal with the moon moon people in fucking Zeta and double Zeta. I ain't dealing with it here. There's rabbits on the moon. All they do is sell crack cocaine. That is no. true. They are named <laughs> Dawn and Dawn. And they're not. God, what are you talking about? 
moon people well, that eat the cheese that are haunting the moon. Have you not heard the stories? Oh. Dawn and Dawn. Yeah, the moon rabbits. You haven't heard about them? One of them is very intelligent. The other is a moron. Letty is not here to defend himself, so you can't fool that. <laughs> I mean, it's you can't fool that because Letty's Dawn not here to defend himself. It's also just true, though. <laughs> Dawn and Dawn is literally just Pinky in the brain. No, Dawn and Dawn is literally Lola and Bugs Bunny. Well, I know that's what they are, but they act like Pinky in the brain. Does one say narf? Pretty much. Nice. Replace That's all I care about. Re replace narf with USB cocaine and you... Yes. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. You know, potato, potato. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh yeah, they were also uh, Ganassi um, rabbits. I see. So they were weird looking. Yeah, I think so we, we learned today that the moon is not only made of cheese, it's haunted by rats and rabbit people. Mm. There is a war a between them, too. For the cheese. <laughs> no, for cocaine. Damn, that makes too much sense. The purest of cocaine lies <laughs> of <laughs> You also forget the uh, polar bear... Mafia. Oh, right. The I'm fucking the what? Mafia so, that, that's where all the animal people are. The fucking moon. So... Oh, no, that's where we got the USB cocaine from. Yeah. So... You guys have to remember, you guys got the USB cocaine from the, the polar bears who have their top half shaved. What the fuck? Why? Have you seen a shaved bear? It's not pretty. <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. These are like buff as fuck, top shaven polar bears that have like cigars in their mouth. They're wearing the hats. All I can see is Armstrong from fucking Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. In. <laughs> In fact, someone actually killed one and stuffed it into a trash can. What the fuck? Yeah, that wasn't oh. even the worst part of that campaign either. Yo, y'all fucking crazy over here. <laughs> y'all wildin' out. Fate <laughs> makes the weirdest shit, man. I didn't make any of that. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like this was definitely not. See, I'm just making the canon that uh, the moon is made of cheese and haunted. By the never-ending war of the rat and rabbit people. Polar bear fucking mafia place. You went to Soviet... Not Russia. <laughs> we had to you went to Soviet, not Russia, trademark. Yeah. I forget what I called that. I don't remember either. All I know is that I, I don't know those remember. things we were looking for. Yeah. Oh, are you talking about the bad place? The bad place. Bad, what was his fucking name? Hold on, I gotta look up this character's name. I don't even fucking remember. Yes, Jokey. Who would do something like kill a uh, polar bear for five USBs of cocaine? Don. So, how much is five USBs of cocaine, anyway? What is the, uh... Uh, I believe it was a grand <laughs> total. Yo, know, worth it, honestly. It was like two hundred a pop, or like two two hundred credits a pop, or some shit like that. I I don't remember that well. I just know that we. It was also like it, it was also like low grade. The only oh, thing he got to use credits was when Poison got to trade in his I have to out. launch map tools to read his fucking name again. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just save the token with his name? No, that would have been way too long of a file name. That's that's fair. <laughs> yes, and long file name, who cares? No. no. 
No, no, no. You don't understand. We're not talking like a couple words. We're talking like, like Esquire the Third, Prestige. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hold on, I'll find him. He's he's looking for it. I'm scared. Let's go back to camp. I don't even remember. Oh wait, I don't know where that is. Uh, it was. God damn it! Why? I used to be practicing this. Leonhard Gregorian Banham von Rasai, second son of the second son of House oh, Vastin, not, and not fifth in line to the throne name. on planet Cyphern. Fucking grandson to Tand with the fucking slut vampire. I ex I fucking destroyed that part of the name. It's not in it. Oh yeah, because <laughs> because we were disowned. because they're still fighting. Yeah. Technically, yeah. Hannah, that was a very high tension night. That's okay, Hannah's just doing her own oh. thing. We never got over it, either. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I guess I did. <clears throat> Trying to get up the next morning. I, I think we stopped that campaign after we saved Tandris <clears throat> from getting shot out of the fucking airlock. It's not stopped. It's, it's not stopped, it's, it's on, on pause. It's on pause, yeah. That's what I mean, yeah. But yeah, we needed to go... We basically needed to evacuate the fucking space shuttle that we were on. Fuck is space. Exactly. Final frontier. The final frontier. You know where the movie Oh, like my favorite character, Worf. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming back. It's all, right. all back. Alright, do you guys want to go back to the base or do you want to stop uh, Stop at the house? Base. The house with the, the chick that we stayed at? Mm-hmm. I mean, is there anything really can get Does it out? sound like she's in trouble when we pass by? Nope, she is. Uh, she is fine. As is most of the places now. After the guards have left, after investigating, you can see that a majority of the place, well, a little bit more roughed up than before, it is in fact just kind of kind of the same. I wonder who caused that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we can go back. Let's go back. Hey. The Remember that you can actually move with your arrow keys as well. Yes, that is true. Back is this way. Waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> Big a waddle of hell. Alright. You guys make your way back to the tunnel. As Does it you... kick forward? You must gather your party before venturing forth. <laughs> Fuck you, Baldur's Gate. I grab you, I throw you. I don't even think that's Baldur's Gate. No, that's, um... Breath of the Righteous. Yeah. Baldur's Gate will just straight up let all of you fuck off in different directions if you want yeah, to. Yeah, but... <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's specifically it was, uh... Called, uh, Wrath of the Righteous, you had to gather everyone to move in the next area, I believe. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys make your way back through the tunnels. You can, you pass by several sore entrances, you pass by several of the aqueducts under the city that have been, uh, not seen better days. A lot of, a, a, a lot of the sewage, like above, you can see, has like a like brownish green tint to it. It has you can see chunks of all kinds of stuff in there that does not look normal. Hmm. And you come back. You. Uh... Looks just like what they're eating at the soup kitchen. Gross. Pulls out of... drum, does a badum sh. Do you have a cowbell? Do you have a cowbell? Oh, no, no I'm a deer. I have a deer bell. It's a difference. Wait, have well... we been here before? Yeah. <laughs> have I been here before? You, you have you not, no. definitely haven't. <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> Hello. Oh. Wrong room. 
No, you guys appear at, at the entrance that is opened when you head went into the sewers. Okay. So you are currently on. Is he here? You're currently. My vision has all reset, so I do not remember where to go. Yep. We will check every room. I mean, if you want to. Sure. It's a sewer. A sewer. <laughs> this does not look correct. Well, you said check every room, so I'm gonna check every room. That is room. true. Ops on table, runs to papers. <laughs> every room. Okay. Here's God. What do, these, what do these papers say? I found it. You see uh, several what looks like uh drawings on a map where uh people where you can presume the people who scout the town or the underground have marked out what can look like various maybe important spots or places that they have marked as interest like uh y y y you can see some notes say things like uh, possible point of interest maybe has more people could be prison could be some type of uh, not base but like place of knowledge it, things like that okay uh, Billy Billy will note that down uh, and do a sick ass fucking barrel roll off the table I believe we're playing Tony Hawk's Pro Pro Skater. Give me a skateboard and I will. <laughs> I think you got plus 500 points for a 360 rail. Right, you do come back to the mess hall. You can see various other people and various other like individuals that you did not see before are now back in here. They are resting. You can see them eating. Yo, free food. I'm eating this free food. Hey, I can <laughs> knock on this door. Is the boss man in? <clears throat> you knock. The door opens. For another door is in your way, Ed boy. I'll get this door too. <laughs> door opens. Mm -hmm. Is he here? He is here. Hey, so, um, <laughs> we're gonna go beat up some depot. We found this weird little reindeer man. Hello. God has returned. <laughs> you will see. You will see him. You will see him look at you and go. What? Didn't we send four of you out? What happened to your other person? Uh, the dwarf got beat up by the. Uh, the husband it was of the time for his hibernation. Um, <clears throat> I think Blarg is currently in the hospital after the uh, the barmaid's husband beat him up. Well, the only place of respite is when down, uh, down within the city. Are you implying that your friend has been captured? No, I'm implying the barmaid's husband beat him up, and now he's sleeping somewhere. Well, that can't be good. <clears throat> I mean, you shouldn't hit on married women. Out of character, I have no reason to believe this happened. I don't know <clears throat> what the story is for Duke's character going away. It's funny, funny that that's what Carol would say in the character. He went into hibernation. Yes. Do, do dwarves hibernate? Magma dwarves do. Fascinating. Do they just... 
go to sleep like bears or yes new oh, lore created new <laughs> lore created well no no see first they gotta drink a lot of beer and gain some weight so that they can hibernate successfully but yeah do you know anything about the depot where they store stuff hmm well we do we have heard that there's places of interest that the mind flares do take uh anything that a veteran might have had like some of our less than careful people that we've saved had said they had a lot of stuff taken almost like they didn't they were trying to purposely hide it away did they have revolvers No, but they did have, uh, hmm. they did have, uh, various important documents and stuff. Then you shoot a document. I do not believe no, so no. But if you're talking about one of the depots, I believe, judging from our sources, there should be one nearby. It's just getting there is unfortunately a problem. Why? The depot itself seems to be centered around the park area. A lot of the park has been cleared out and it's been turned into a, uh, according to our information, a camp. We raid the camp. Not so if we raid it, then it is not a problem. <laughs> well, you are right, yes, and well forge, but we also don't know what they had there. Most of our sentries and our scouts have not been able to get that far into the into the uh, the park to get a good look. Well, that one, and he points to Bong, is a ranger, so maybe they can. That would be one of my specialties. He likes to camp out on roofs. If you ask me, he's a little weird. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> yes, he knows he's saying this right fucking in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, but I actually do, I do believe just, that. Just point fucking blank. He's a little weird. But I do, but I do he's a weirdo. Like, God totally believe, like, if you're not in the conversation, you don't hear it. <laughs> you aren't in the dialogue tree. You'll, yep. you see the, uh... I was just gonna shake you see the leader. <clears throat> hmm. There you go. You see the leader sitting in his chair as you uh, as you guys walk in more. He's reading, like, more documents and stuff as you, like, you guys had walked in. So you see, like, a giant sprawling map of the city. You see the various, like, missives and notes that he's gotten from the various scouts or information of chain line from the other uh, hideouts and other places where they read 
this is, is currently staying in like other parts of, of the city similar to the notes that uh you found in the other other room this one's kind of more detailed you see uh various spots like the for example the depot in the camp is you can see they have outlined as possible camp may have 10 to 30 all set up you see uh various what they believe is strongholds or of the such that may have importance like may have information about how to get into the castle may have prisoners they've taken that are still alive type thing Billy's gonna note that down all we have to do is kill every last one of them <laughs> on that line of thought do you guys have an alchemist we can buy supplies from we do she is a wee bit Orky? What do you mean? That honestly it's not a problem. Dude. Have you seen us? Yeah. He'll, 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 concerned. He'll, he'll look at the three of you and look at the one that just walked in and goes, Are you a deer? We don't know. No, I'm God. <laughs> no, God, not talking to you, buddy. <laughs> I mean, that's a good question, God. Are you a deer in a robot body? I do not know what my past self looked like. So you can't be certain of it? It is possible, I uh, guess. I can't believe Billy Billy has seen his future self in the Otagon. Fucking defender. <laughs> <laughs> Become <laughs> like me. Become as God. No. <laughs> no, he will look at Billy Billy as he walked in and goes, This must be your new companion? Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is him. Howdy. Tips that. He's less Are strange, you honestly. Tall enough to see you open the desk? He's... Doesn't matter. <laughs> if you I'll lift you up and put you on God's shoulders. Don't you touch me. I didn't ask for uppies. <laughs> it is fine. There is no danger here. I don't want it. Why not? Because I said no. Why not? Because I don't feel like it. Alright then. I'll give you a head pats and turn around. <laughs> He'll squint at you. <laughs> oh yeah, so, um, what that alchemist? Well, we can offer you some potions, but we don't exactly have a lot of supplies to make stuff, if that's what you're asking. I mean, hopefully we can find some supplies when we go raid this camp. That is true. Are you going to be able to help us carry shit back if we kill everyone at that camp? We do have some scouts out around that area that have been monitoring the place. They've been sending various messages uh, over the amount of time. That could uh, relay one if they see uh, you have succeeded, yes. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, do you think you could have, like, some people set up in case we do so that we can, like, rob them before they come back? That is a good point. It's not like you'd be in danger anyway, because you'd just be waiting until after it was done to come pick everything up. That's what the scouts are for. Oh, yeah, I was just hand this down. If they, well, well, but, but... Wait, put it. Character. No, I get that. I'm just no, no. Like... Put it. Uh, put it this way: when you clear the camp, put up some type of signal to indicate that you have done the deed and it is safe. 
is is well, a, it, 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 a signal too. Well, we don't mean a smoke fire, but we do mean some type of flag or maybe piece of parchment or something that is seeable. What if I just stand in the middle of the camp? That might not be the best idea, God. You're not that tall. Well, if you stand in the middle of the camp, I'll have to JFK you. You can try. <laughs> <laughs> Ro sure that's here. Robot Kennedy. It's like the bowling ball gift, but with robots. I would like to rage. Can I see this coming? Do I get advantage of this deck save? No. <laughs> you won't know where the bullet comes from. That's fine. As long as I can see in here, I get advantage on all dexterity saves. It could even be right behind you and be three feet tall. Oh my god, it was Billy Billy Cut. Looks at Billy. No. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't have my guns yet. <laughs> I was speaking of which, you ask your, your boss person about my guns. They're Betsy and Simone. Simone? Their names? You named your guns. Yeah, doesn't everybody? I don't have a gun. Did you name your boat? Well, yeah, you no, don't have don't, a gun. You don't why understand. Would I, why would I name my boat? Well, I don't know. Isn't it a fancy, exceptional boat that's named? Yeah, it's mine. It is my boat. He doesn't understand. I guess I don't. I don't know when you I'm care for something, and you make it with your own two hands. <laughs> Names have power, Mr. Bong. God damn it. I was just confused for a moment, Billy. You're good, man. We'll, we'll chop it. It will be okay. My whip has a name. I don't know why you wouldn't name your stuff. What is your whip name? Actually, oh, I do I want to know. Tennis. Oh, okay. No, I, I, out of character, I didn't name this shit. That's Kate's name for this. I was expecting you to say something not <laughs> so friendly. Dominatrix. <laughs> God. Hey, yo. Know? God, you gotta stop reading. Did you get another fucking book? No, no, I was no. just talking about how my whip is spiked. Yeah, but how did he put that together? I, you know what? It's already in his brain. What do you mean? What is wrong with Dominatrix? I feel like you should have never access to this information, God. I don't know where you were even counting that. Yeah. I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is one of those things I'm trying to keep away from them. Tiger. Yeah. You will go. Well, the alchemist can offer you some some of what they have, but that's really about it. As for traversing, it'd probably be best if you wait till the mor to the morning. I do not need to rest. I, I need nappies. Eh, I can take a nap. There's a library to respect. Hmm? Fine, we can rest. If you leave, <laughs> if you leave early in the morning, you can manage to finagle your way through the the back streets and at least be unavoided. So you're trying to say we're some kind of backstreet boys? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Back tonight. But none of you are, uh... What's the one that... Justin? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I do not know. Boys. Or was that sync? I don't remember. Guys, They're basically the same thing. They, they really are the same fucking thing. They're both boy bands. Yeah. Yes. Do you know the Beatles was also a boy band? It was. 
Yep. Until Yoko Ono showed up. Ruined it for everybody. I thought the drugs were doing that, too. It was both. I love Yellow Submarine. God, they were high as shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking... <laughs> It's not like it's not like hey jude is any better i mean hey jude is actually, not like a trippy song it's not like they've been just fucking zooted come together is one of them for sure half the fucking lyrics don't make any sense well that's the beatles though lucy in the sky with diamonds doesn't make a goddamn penny of sense either I don't even know the words though. Drugs are bad. Okay. Okay. The drugs are well, bad. Well, okay, okay, look. The drugs are bad. Look. Okay. But to go to the as, hospital to full of drugs. As a PSA, we do not endorse we don't we do not endorse hard drugs. Yeah, just crack cocaine. Yeah, just cocaine. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Oh yeah. <laughs> Remember, kids, say yes to the pot of marijuana. Drugs are expensive. True. And then sell it to someone else. Exactly. Never do your own supply. Well, that's just rule number one. Yeah. Unless you're buying it, and then then it is your supply. And then you just, I don't know, do it anyways. Because fuck it. <laughs> The fuck were we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you guys, you guys uh, will spend your night here. You will make your, you will get food. You'll get rest, and then in the morning, you will make your way across the town as you make your trek to the depot. Yes. So that you can. Uh, that you're going in at a early time where it's still dusk and not enough light that they will be able to spot you. They can't see us anyways because there's no goddamn sun. There's a sun. Nah, there ain't no goddamn sun. <laughs> you said the sun was gone. No, I said the sun was covered up. Yeah, so there ain't no goddamn sun. But there is the sun. Yeah, I mean, it's there. It's like an eclipse. No, I can't see it. Sun's not there. Oh my god. That's true. <laughs> I can't see it. Sun's not there. Get the fuck out. Permanence <laughs> <laughs> is not something you get until you're a little older. Okay. You know, let's just. Let's go talk to that. Let's go speak to that alchemist and turn him to the map. Yeah. Where is the alchemist? He's in here. 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 Oh. <clears throat> it was just void to me, so. Yeah, I know. Yep. Oh. I love the void. Yep. We're going to the void, the void, the void. This guy kicked us out. What the hell? Yeah, he didn't kick you out. <laughs> Yo, they got cheese in here. You get that from the moon? Get that from the yes. They got it from the moon. <laughs> Fuck yeah, moon cheese. Are you the alchemist? You walk in, you see. I forgot to keep doing this because we uh... never fixed it. Walk in, you see Brosco the chef has made, is currently cooking as you walk in and goes, he goes, all right, what, well, been me? Um, hey, Hannah. Um, I do not know what to ask for. Health potions. 
health potions. Yeah. yeah oh, we good. don't fucking die. I would like health potions. Well, all right. Gonna. You're gonna have to uh, accept that these are health potions, quote unquote. What the hell does that mean? Well, they're gonna heal you, but uh, unlike normal health potions, uh, you ain't gonna like the aftertaste. That's. I do not taste. Yo, what he's lucky. Do what the hell? I don't feel like taste is a luxury we can tell you. All right. Well, how many do you need? Mm. Couple. It's me. each. How many you got? You see him uh, doing math on his hands, and he goes, "We got twelve. No, wait, thirteen. Probably don't want the thirteenth one. Why not?" Why not? It's green. How about we get... I want the green one. <laughs> <laughs> how much... How much a pop? Yeah, I got I got 93 gold. You take the gold here. <clears throat> I got a rock. Do, I do, do not have, have money. I have 13 gold and 6 silver. <laughs> You're poor. Oh my god. How much? I can kill somebody mm -hmm. if you want me to. Do you have? I have uh, 90, 93 gold. Let me check. I have. Oh, I have 25. I have a mace. And a dagger. Yes, yes you do. I don't know where you got the dagger from, though. Oh, do they have crossbow bolts? I kind of need those. Until I forget. Betsy and Simone are back. All right. Let's see. I don't know. He's a wild one. Yeah, it'd be bad if you ran out of ammo. Mm -hmm. And then all Wrong you button. Have be able to smack people with the thing. Yeah. He will give you 12 potions for 91 gold. You will also have to work in the kitchen because they're short staff. Okay. Um... I mean, God doesn't sleep. That is on. true. Anna will buy the potions and give everyone two. Teach him how to cook, too. Six six for herself. Use that on the road. I am serious about those crossbow bolts, though. <laughs> uh, basic healing is what? 2d4 plus 2? 2d4 plus 2. Okay, everyone has two potions and I have six. Alright, uh, let's see. You so said you have six in gold? Potions? I fucking bought them all. Oh, I mean, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure I heard it right. Yeah, you have to all right. do when I, uh, I just, I'm just carrying the rest. You will get, uh, for 17 silver, you'll get 20, 20 a, uh, a bundle. 20 what? 20 potions? No, for 17 silver, you will get 20 bolts. 
Oh, cost bubbles. Yeah. Because they are bundled. I give you a gold. <laughs> all right. All right. Because I don't want to do math. Wow. <laughs> I'm smart, but I hate math. So you need to give him one more gold. What? I have 13. Yeah, one gold is 10 silver. Was it 7 or 17? 17. So, so yeah, you would need to give two golds. Okay, I give him two golds. Then you get three silvers back. Yuck. Unless, unless he's a cheap bastard and doesn't give you change. Right. He will bite both of them and keep them. Real genuine uh, gold. Yep. Golden yeah. pieces of gold. Uh. Okay. Augies. Oh. I have 35 gun bullets now. <laughs> gun bullets? <laughs> you guys will get your long rest as you retire to your rooms. You will get food. That is uh, clearly not uh, questionable meat. Never. I hope it's Mind Flayer. Pretty sure that just tastes like chicken. Uh, it tastes like squid. Or octopus. Take your pick. Yeah. I mean, we don't know what uh, what they taste like. It's like it depends on the cut, you know what I mean? Oh. I like how you can make the image of bottle corked green. <laughs> you guys will retire to your rooms as you make your way a disarray. A disarray. Ah, you have no power over me. I'm using my own. Son of a bitch! Why am I into Spasa? Uh. <clears throat> okay, you see there's two of me though, right? No, I only see one. Oh, what the fuck? Interesting, because I see another one way down here. Uh, just right click off your token. Okay. okay. I don't know why. I did that to me too, I don't know. Yeah, the Phantom Hammer is now gone. Hey. Oh, did you try moving it when Kate moved you? Yes. Yeah, that's why. That's because I hey, did the same. Welcome to your room. It's cozy. It's got doors. It's got a bed. I'm taking this room again. I'm, I'm going be, to sleep going in the middle of the unbothered. floor, watching the door again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to be unbothered this time. You know what? Is the door lockable? Yes. Door's locked. I'm oh sitting my on my bed in trancing. God. I'm tired of that shit. <laughs> That was some bullshit. You didn't like getting gaslit? I, that, I just didn't like Blark just coming into my room and going, I'm sleeping here now. <laughs> I'm sleeping here now. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Bad is bad. Ooh. We getting raided in the night? Is that what's going on? Yeah, I thought I had one of those more melancholy. I think I have it I on pull me. Up my gun. <laughs> That's a crossbow because it's not a real gun. Don't worry, we'll get you a gun. Technically, a crossbow was a real gun back then. We'll get it's not real gun. to me. <laughs> it just ain't the same. Jenna. It came up and bit me in the butt. <laughs> right, you guys 
get your long rest as you did spend a majority of your time during the day traversing and learning about what is going on as well as several other things that ha had happened. You learned that the D depot itself might have stuff in it. Not sure what that stuff would be, but... Exactly. But you, you know that they at least they take people there and they take stuff there. Which could go good or bad, either way. Yeah. But, with that, that means that A, next time you will raid the depot, or you will make your way across the city and into the depot, as well as whatever awaits you on that side. Mm. Let's go! Ugh. We're going to the depot. The depot. You guys also don't know what kind of time period this is. So for all you know, this could be slightly ahead of your actual time. I'm fairly certain they have guns, because Billy Billy Cutter had guns. <laughs> Did he? Or is he lying? Well, he either had guns or he's insane. One of the he's, two. Like, he's just like... <laughs> He is like way too far down the line, like schizophrenic, and his guns are just like two sticks he found. That's fucked up. <laughs> Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. I want my guns. My son <laughs> put the guns on We're it. We're like in the middle of nowhere. He's like, my guns. And he just picks up these two sticks. We're like, whoa. I hope they're magic guns and they just fucking shoot anyways. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. It's, it, it's just two sticks in the shape of guns. Yeah. Pow, pow, pow. Enchanted with Eldritch Blast. My, my. Truly the most potent of guns Eldritch Blast wants. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright. Demetrius. Imagine if you can get a, a 